Okay, I just finished Kuiper Dash, I'm not sweaty as fuck. <laughs> but like, I noticed there's a new release on Quest and it's Color Space, which I have no single idea what is it. It's supposed to be like a coloring world? Let's just go into it and we'll talk <laughs> in the way. Paris is currently in quarantine. Tomorrow is my last day at my work. And then I have, I don't even know how many weeks of day off. I was debating on playing flat, flat screen games for my channel, but like, I don't know. Anyways. So, this seems to be like a room scale kind of like coloring, I guess, word. What really, because I mean, I'm not really artistic person. The only thing I can do and like draw are like stickmen fighting or whatever. <laughs> or stickmen with dresses. So... The like coloring stuff and the like, coloring books were a big trend, but I think like two years ago, like coloring books for adults. I think that, that at the time it was. But the pink book, uh, okay. But what it, like drew me to that is like in VR, it's kind of like you know you're 360 here, and like it's mostly about the visuals. So it's kind of like you're turning black and white world into colors, but and we'll see. I will see if it's a thing. Uh, I'm really interested if we can color anything by any color. That would make, like you know, make sense that we can kind of create whatever we want with the environment in whatever color we want. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, pointer palette. Use the front trigger on your pointer hand to click. Mm -hmm. Yes. Point on the flower and click color. And so basically, I, I guess we can color whatever we want, so like blue. Oh, okay, I thought the area is gonna be a little bit smaller Like you know by the single leaves But like it's kind of like a big area we color so then you know brown flowers Okay It's simplified But it's like it's not That offensive I, I guess Okay, interesting. Just color everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily, I guess, a game. I guess, like, a uh, coloring book simulator, right? But, like, it's kind of like you color up however you want. So you can create, I don't know, like unique, I guess, environments? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's simplified part, that's like the RGB. Uh, I thought the music would be more calming, but it's like... Let me just, I guess, lower like that. Whatever. Okay. Scene using the trash can. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Click the bookshelf button. Pretty simple. So, I guess this one it will be cool. It's like a futuristic kind of. Yeah. So we have four scenes, and I guess times three so it means we have 12 scenes okay let's do the city wonder so I guess yeah I mean that the premise is pretty much simple you color stuff <laughs> that's it and um, I guess if you're like an artist or whatever you can create 
I guess very from the same environment like the color palette different or whatever I don't know so hmm. ah, okay it's kind of like New Yorkish futuristic thing so what if I will like paint green I guess windows uh, or like the top of the buildings I don't know like you know the colors I will be making what ma make no sense because I'm not an artist like I wished it would be more detailed like for example you could color this particular tree different color than the other colors on the building but it's kind of like one color mostly I guess it's limited because of the quest capab capabilities and the processoring uh, hmm I d okay, well, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it, you know, you're pretty much given the environment to color. I feel like it, I think, <laughs> maybe, I mean, I don't know if I will expect it to be like more exciting or whatever. What is this? Oh, it's like the psychedelic shapes, I guess. I feel like this game, if you could call it, would be more, I guess, advertised. Oh yeah, that's actually a good like palette because from all the shapes you can like kind of create different colors and then it's kind of like, visually stunning. I'm not gonna create that because I'm not gifted and in any how so maybe like different colors in on every like I guess area. Ah, okay. So it kinda di differs on the environment. It kinda like picks up singular pieces. I guess this one is more like a mosaic thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess for different colors the environments like that would be pretty cool. You could also do like a rainbow something. I don't know how it went. It went... Uh, wait, isn't the rainbow literally just like on the line? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think. Wait, red? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> yes, I guess that's pretty much the premise. Like, it's very simplistic. And uh, maybe it's actually, I mean, I'm not a calm person, so like for me it does nothing, but I w could imagine someone like stressed out or whatever, especially in these times with this fucking coronavirus, uh, like I guess some chill time, but it's very childlike playstyle. I could definitely see some children playing this game. Because it's purely like a coloring book in virtual reality, right? Red Moose. Oh, you can like different parts of him color. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fun. <laughs> maybe if you take some like weed or whatever, maybe it would be better also. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you can also change the sky. What about red? <laughs> this is not red. Okay, I guess this is red. Red trees. Blood trees. And this is just fall. And psychedelic deer. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much the premise of that. Simplistic. It's pretty cheap, like 10 euro. And I guess for the coloring book. I guess it's kind of like the same experience you would buy a coloring book in the store. Here. 
I guess that would make sense, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> okay. 